This video was a request from one of our subscribers. I'm going to talk about Newton's laws of motion. So, Newton's laws. Newton stated three laws of motion. The first law can also be called the law of inertia. And what it says is that every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. So let's let's use an, an, an example to, to picture this better. So you have a ball and it's on a frictionless floor. So friction will not stop it. There's no friction force acting on the ball. And you you will push this ball and it will start rolling. So what the first law states is that it will remain in that state of motion. So it will remain rolling until an external force is applied to it. So you need so you need some force to stop it to change that state of motion. If there's no force at all and we said that there's no friction, the ball will remain rolling forever. And well, that's what the first law states. Now let's go to the second law. This law is very important. You will probably use it throughout your whole study in physics. And what it says is the relationship between force and mass. And of course, its acceleration. So it will give us a formula that is force equals mass times acceleration. Really, all you have to know about, about this law is this formula because you will use it for your cal to obtain your calculations as you study dynamics. Now let's talk about the last law. The third, the third law is also called the law of action and reaction. So what it says is that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So a mathematical way to explain it would be action equals minus reaction. But you'll never use this formula because it is not a formula. It's just to visualize that this will be equal to this but this will be negative. So it's in the other direction. So a good example to think about this is so let's say you decide for some reason to punch a wall so you'll be applying a force here, right? And you'll you'll feel that your your arm hurt because you punched the wall, and it hurts because there will be the wall will be applying a force in the opposite direction. So it's like when you're punching the wall, the wall is giving back that force into your arm and making it hurt. And well, now you know why your arm hurts when you punch something. That that same force you are applying to the object will be returned to you in the opposite direction. Another way to think of it is if you've ever been on a boat, let's say this is a boat. <laughs> so boat. And you get to the shore. So you want to go this way, right? So to jump into into the shore or or whatever you or wherever you want to go you you will be applying a force into the boat so you you'll be applying a force like this and what happens is that the boat will return that same force and propel you up so you can you can go in this direction you can go into the shore but then the boat would move a little bit that's because you you apply a force into the boat and then that action got returned by a reaction so you could go into the shore. And a third example you could think of this is something that everyone has done in their life. When you jump, you're 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 applying a force into so let me yeah, let me write it here. This is this is the floor and this is you. So you are applying a force into the floor and the floor 
will be applying a force up in the opposite direction so you can jump for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and those are Newton's laws.